In today's video, I'm going to make a traditional German dessert. It's called Milchreis in Deutsch. So I guess it's like a rice pudding. When I just came to Deutschland, I thought it's very fascinating that German use rice as a dessert. You can buy this kind of dessert in a small package in the supermarket here in Deutschland. And they're selling this similar to yogurt. So it's uh, at the same area and usually it's served cold but you could also eat it warm. And today I'm going to make a really basic Milchreis. Uh, use just rice, milk and a tiny bit of cinnamon as a flavoring and decoration. So hopefully you enjoy this recipe. For our Milchreis, milk rice, we will need one liter of fresh milk one tablespoon of butter, melted, a pinch of salt, 175 grams of rice. Here I use the round corn, so it's a round shape of um, rice. You can see here it says milk rice, so this is the rice for our milk rice. 50 grams of raisins, you can also use sultana. 50 grams of sugar. Cinnamon powder, this will be added at the end. Take a small pot, adding our 50 grams of raisins, 50 milliliter of water. Turn our stove on to medium low heat. And we're going to bring this to boil. Once it starts boiling, we can turn off the heat and set it aside. Take a small clean pot, adding our rice. Chinese always wash their rice before cooking, but Germans not always. Adding our milk, a whole liter of milk. Adding our melted butter, about one tablespoon. A pinch of salt. Now we can turn our stove on to medium low heat. And we're going to bring our rice to boil. Once our milk start boiling, we just turn off the heat. Be careful, the milk easily gets boiled, so try to keep your heat low. Once it starts boiling, turn it off. And then we are going to cover it and just let it sit on the stove for about 30 minutes until it's completely cooled, then we're going to cook it again. So after 30 minutes, our stove is completely cooled and now we can turn on our stove again and we're going to bring this to boil again. Now we can just stir it a little bit to prevent our rice sticking together. Now our milk rice, milk rice start boiling again, we turn off the heat. Now we can cover it again with a lid and let it cool. Now after 30 minutes, you can see we can stir our milk rice with a spatula and it's about the correct consistency we want so it's a kind of thick gooey uh, paste and now we can turn our stove back on to low heat it's important 
Now we can add in our uh, raisins. So we just need the raisins without the fluid inside. Then our sugar. Now we can just combine everything together. If you don't have the this kind of consistency, for example, if it's still lots of fluid inside, you can keep cooking it on low heat until it's reduced. So here is my milk rice after about an hour and uh, I didn't realize how big it turned out. It's just a full pot of sweet and delicious thing. So here I'm going to take enough amount, about one portion for me. Okay, so take enough of raisins. I like raisins and my husband hates raisins so I eat most of it decorate it with just a few pinch of cinnamon okay milk rice has to uh, has to have cinnamon in it so guten appetit I know it's not very healthy to eat sweets in the middle of the night, but mm. it tastes really different when it's warm. And the reasons really give it a kick. Tastes really good. Mmm. You can't say no to me guys. Even though I don't really eat rice as dessert, but it tastes really good. So Hopefully you like this recipe and give me a thumb up. Leave your comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching. Did you subscribe yet? If not, click here, click here, click here. Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya, see ya,